Welcome to Poor Man's Gun Club. I'm Dan here with the Baycal IZH-18 in 223. It's a single shot with uh, just an extractor, not an ejector. So you have to kind of take them out on your own. I'm going to take a couple shots with it and see how it runs. So the problem with the single shot is that it takes a little while to load. But you also have to be the most disciplined with it. We'll do one more. As you can see, you can't get much more reliable than a single shot. Hardly any moving parts. And it's a pretty fun all around shooter. Good day and welcome to Poor Man's Gun Club. Hi, I'm Dan, this is Chris, and today what we've got for you is the Baycal IZH-18, made in Russia. It's a, two, it's a 223 single shot with a uh, with just an extractor, not an ejector, and uh, just a nice little lever, lever uh, hinge action. So, uh, not a whole heck of a lot you can say about it. I mean, you don't get much more simple than a single shot. It's uh, one of the more interesting features, I'll come up closer to show you, is that it's got an interesting exterior fluting of sorts. It's not really a fluting, it's kind of like a twist if you see what I'm talking about. It's kind of an interesting design for a rifle, like an octagonal twist. And uh, I don't think it's really any kind of benefit, just to, other than just, uh, other than just some, some nice styling. Um, I think it looks pretty. Now, did it come with the rail mount on it when you bought it? No, I had to buy the rail mount. It's a single piece rail mount. Um, unfortunately, this gun's got a very small dovetail base. So you kind of have to get a shorter, uh, well, actually, you have to get a longer mount, but it has to have uh, basically a one piece base, otherwise, it won't work. And I got this, this base. I can't remember what the base is. It was pretty expensive, though. Um, but it does come with iron sights, so it's not necessary to really get a scope if you're, if you're you know, willing to deal with the irons. Uh, the only reason I got a scope on it is because I'd like to use it for groundhogs and coyotes. I personally and love iron sights. So once again, it depends on your preference. If you want to spend the extra money to get a scope mounted on there, power to you. Yep. But it's perfectly fine base model with just the iron sights on there. Yep. So how much does that cost? Uh, this rifle, I believe, cost about three hundred and fifty dollars. I believe for a single shot. I mean, it's that's Canadian, by the way. It's Canadian, yeah. It's it's about uh, about on par. Let's say you wanted to get like a Savage Axis, you could get a Savage Axis for about that much, maybe a little bit more. And it's a bolt action, and Savages are always known for accuracy and reliability. So, um, it came with uh, came with little European swivel mounts, so you have to get a small. A really thin leather sling. I got this one made by Beretta, and it's uh, it's pretty small. Um, other things about it. Sponsored by Beretta. Hey, I said we should be sponsored by Beretta. Oh yeah, Beretta earplugs or earphones. That'd be nice. Beretta slings and Beretta everything. Um, it's got a little push button safety right on the uh, right behind the trigger there, so that's pretty pretty typical. Uh, seriously large. Large breech for it though. The, uh, the chamber, the metal around the chamber is extremely thick. It's really thick. Really thick, yeah. You can uh, certainly see how thick that is. Fairly thick. Um, other little features, I guess. It comes with nice wood. I mean, you get a nice little wood and uh, wooden metal package. No plastic on it at all. Oh, actually, sorry, the trigger guard is plastic. But the uh, the action lever, the lever that releases the action open and close, it's metal. I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's metal. It's metal. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's nice. It's a nice wooden steel gun. It's got a fairly decent little butt pad on it. Wood grain's pretty nice. Wood works nice. I can't complain about it for 350 bucks. And he always has a complaint. I always have a complaint. 
they're not the most accurate things. Mind you, I just foresighted it, so we're not entirely, it's hitting on paper, but we're not exactly sure. Now that doesn't necessarily have to do with the gun, that no. could just be the scope. It could be just the scope, you're right, but I mean, uh, also, once you get it dialed in, it's probably going to be fairly accurate, I'd say. But it also depends on what you foresighted it so. for. Considering we're shooting at about, from 75 yards, yeah. 75 to 100, roughly, yeah. and it could be sighted in for 150. Yeah, so you never know. 223s are always a nice, fast, exceptionally fast and flat shooting round. Uh, you can, you can take out pretty well anything that's uh, smaller than a deer. Some people have actually taken deer with a 223 if they want a lighter caliber cartridge, but I generally wouldn't recommend it, but it's, you know, it's all about shot placement. I mean, literally you can take a deer with almost anything you can put your mind to, even a 22 LR long rifle. And because that barrel is so thick, this gun actually has quite a bit of weight to it. Yeah, it's got... For the caliber. Right. So... You know, you pick it up and, you know, you wouldn't think it would be too light. You'd probably think it's around the weight of a 30-30, but I personally think it's maybe a pound, pound and a half heavier than a 30-30. Yeah. They make the IZH-18 in different calibers as well. I believe it goes all the way up to a 30-06, I believe. Um, they make them in 222, I think, and they also make them in, uh, I believe, 762 by... Uh, 54, I think there's one out there that's like that. Oh, I know Baycal makes a double gun that uh, is a 30 odd six, and they also make a, a 45 70 double gun, which is pretty neat. You would feel like you're an old African safari man going out, taking uh, taking your moose with a double gun 45 70. Well, we hope you enjoyed this review. We hope it helped you make an informed choice. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and we we'll hope to see you again.